Okay, friends. I'm new to the Pennsylvania area, but I know that this is a Pennsylvania treat. And I know anytime I see Stolfus now since doing Gourmet Holiday, I know that the meat is going to be fantastic. This is Stolfus Meats, three 15 ounce fully cooked Pennsylvania Dutch ring bologna. If you're going to find something more delicious than this, I would say it's bologna. Anyway, I had to say that. Our QVC price, $44.98. The easy pay is $11.24. So here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get three of those 15 ounce fully cooked bologna. You'll see it there if you're looking on your screen. If you're not, come take a peek, because I see it there with the crackers and the cheese. It looks amazing. And there are choices. So let's start with garlic. Um, how many are in the garlic, Jonathan? Oh, yeah. So obviously you can get garlic, 200 remaining. There's the cheese, look at the cheese. 200 remaining in the cheese. And that was most popular in Mary's show today. And this is what we're calling regular. 425 remaining. And then we have a combo where you get one of each. So you're gonna get one of the cheese, one of the garlic, and one of the regular. And Zach Stolfus is standing by. Zach, like the last time we talked, we were learning about Scrapple and everything else and how delicious it was. You were a fantastic guest, you're new. And I was like, he's back again with another juicy delectable delight here on gourmet holiday so zach welcome buddy hey it's great to be back here with you tj now what is yeah. this ring bologna so this is yet another pennsylvania dutch specialty meat you're not going to find it in your grocery store you know we have a small little butcher shop and retail store here in the heart of amish country just like you used to find in cities and towns all across the u.s back in the day you know a lot of italian a lot of german immigrants would set up a small little butcher shop in town and they bring their old world style meats recipes with them when they came over here to the United States. And this is, and this is one of these things. Uh, here's my grandparents right here. This is the family farm that uh, the butcher shop's located on still to this day. And here's a market stand we have in Newcastle, Delaware. We have a very loyal customer base. And it's all because of these Pennsylvania Dutch traditional meat products that my family and I have been making for three generations now since wow. 1954. So uh, Ring Bologna is among one of our most popular offerings. And one of the reasons why is because it's an old world style bologna. It's not your supermarket bologna. It's not, it's not just you know, a bunch of cheap meats thrown together and ground. We start with lean cuts of beef, lean cuts of pork. We add 17 different spices. We create this incredible symphony of flavors with mace, with onion powder, with coriander. And then we take all of that and we smoke it in our smokehouses for three to four hours. And it just really takes the flavor to another level. So there's a smokiness as well to this product. So you have that smoky flavor, you have those seasonings, and it just makes for an amazing hors d'oeuvre. You can throw it into an egg sandwich like I have here in a bagel. Ooh, yeah. And you can put it in a, um, you know, throw it on the grill. Here's one, here's another egg sandwich I made this morning. It's got mushrooms, onions on there. And there's so many options you can you can use this meat for. It's very versatile. And it also is ready to eat. So you don't even have to cook it. You can just cut it right out of the casing. Casing is extremely easy to remove. It's just cut and peel, like so. Uh huh. This is the cheese here. You can get a cross section of that. You can see you got chunks of cheddar cheese in there. Yeah. And in fact, I threw, I threw a few of those in the uh, air fryer here for about five minutes. And as you can see, that just browned up and crisp nicely. The cheese is all melty and, and just oozing. It's so delicious. I'm going to restrain myself and I'll, <laughs> I'll uh, help myself with some of that after we're done here. But yeah, it's an amazing product and there's so many things you can do with it. So I love that. So um, I'm wondering, first of all, I, I don't want to be disrespectful. So I grew up thinking, look, I'm from Cleveland, so I thought it was called bologna. But I heard you say bologna. It sounds like this is an elevated version of just the bologna that you're getting at the grocery store and putting it on like a slice of bread. So I want to call this bologna. Is that what I'd be correct when calling it that? That's what we call it. Yep. We like to call it bologna because of that old world style connotations. And, uh, and of course the name ring bologna, as you can see, it's from its distinctive ring shape. Mm -hmm. So it goes into the smokehouse like this, you know, once you guys get this, once it arrives at your doorstep, you know, three of these is a lot to eat in one setting, but you can stash it in your freezer. It'll hold up great in the freezer. That's what I usually do. I throw a couple of them in there. I take them out periodically. I like to grill with them. I slice it up, throw it on the grill, place that on top of a burger, 
it really takes the flavor to another level. So there's so many things you could do with this product. It's really such a great product. It's and it's a hit. We make a lot of hors d'oeuvres with it whenever we have company to, company over. We just kind of slice it, take a chunk of cheese, stick a toothpick through it, and you're done. It's really simple. And so you're done. Wow. Um, so Zach, okay. Can you walk through the flavor profiles? Because I don't have any here in studio with me, but can we start with garlic? Let's talk about what's sure. in it and what it tastes like and what we can expect. So all three of the flavors start with those that 17 spice uh, flavor base. Uh, we use the 17 spices in all three. The garlic just has you know garlic as an added spice to that mixture. It's not overly garlic, it's just a hint of garlic. I would compare it almost to a kielbasa, just a little bit more finely ground, a little bit leaner. And uh, so I love to put the garlic one in with some sauerkraut. It makes a great um, pierogi as well. A little bit of cheese. It goes great with uh, many mashed potatoes. That's my favorite thing to do with the garlic. The regular, I like to cook for breakfast or on the grill. And then the cheese. The cheese is just kind of my all-around snacking flavor that I, I like the most. And that's just our regular or plain flavor of ring bologna with cheddar cheese added to it. Gotcha. And so that cheese... Let me, uh, so if you're looking on screen, you could see what the cheese looks like. Zach, what kind of cheese is in there? Is that Swiss cheese? What, what type of cheese is in there? That is a cheddar cheese. A cheddar? So okay. Is, uh, yeah, that's a cheddar cheese. Yep, and we found that, you know, we've done a couple different cheese combinations, but that one is by far the most popular with our customer base. So that's one we've really been selling a lot of is, is that cheddar cheese combination. It just makes a great... It's just a great combination of flavors. Yeah, listen, I love that. And here's the other thing I think they'll love. If you can't decide on the garlic or the cheese or the regular, we have the combo available. So you're never losing. You get one of each, and then maybe you could decide what your favorite is or continue to get the combo. This is Stolfitz Meats. You're getting three of those 15-ounce fully cooked Dutch ring bolognas. Uh, shipping and handling is free, of course, and our easy pay is $11.25. So here's what I love about this is the more I work for, for QVC and the longer I, I spend here, the more I learn about the nuanced um, offerings and the menus that are here in Pennsylvania. And so this um, recipe came for, obviously, it's a Pennsylvania treat, but where did it originate from? Do you, can you tell us that? Well, Ring Bologna does trace its background back to the old country. It's uh, like many of our other meats. We've had these recipes in our family for generations, and it is very much a regional thing. So Pennsylvania Dutch culture, Pennsylvania Dutch cuisine, it's kind of like Cajun cuisine, right? It's a, mm -hmm. it's a uniquely American form of cooking that owes a lot to the old world. So just like Cajun cooking owes a lot to France, you know, Pennsylvania Dutch cooking owes a lot to Germany, which is where a lot of the Amish and Mennonites came over from. So they brought their spices, they brought some of their recipes with them, and we've been carrying on that tradition of, of excellence, of premium quality, superior taste in these products. And uh, yeah, we're proud to offer them as the centerpiece for uh, some of people's most important meals, whether it's over the holidays, over Christmas, over Thanksgiving, or just an informal get together. I think that you'll find that these meats are real hit. That's fantastic. I love the flavors. I'm gonna talk about the profiles again and what you get to choose. We have garlic that you can choose from. We also have the cheese, which is what you see there. And you can see all three there on the cutting board. That's the garlic, the cheese, and the regular. And that's what a combo would look like. But you can choose if you want all three of the garlic, which to me sounds fantastic, you can get that. If you like that cheese, which has been very popular, obviously we have that available for you as well. And then we have the regular. And if you're looking at your screen, this is how they come to you. So Zach, since these are fully cooked, do I just take these, do I put them in the refrigerator? Do I put them on a shelf? How do I, do I pop them in the freezer? What do we do? Yeah, so it's going to arrive in a vac sealed bag like this. And you could just stick it in your refrigerator. You know, after you break the seal in the bag, you're either gonna to wanna to eat it within a week or put it into your freezer after the seal has been broken. Um, I recommend just keeping it in your fridge for a few weeks. If you're not gonna eat it within a few weeks, you know, put it in your freezer. They do freeze great. So uh, there's no problem there. It'll stay up in the freezer for six months or more and just be perfectly fine in this vac seal container. So um, that's what I would recommend doing. It is a lot to maybe eat in one sitting. Uh, however, we we know uh, several customers that we have this in an even bigger ring size. They'll buy a couple of different rings and have like a big family get together and you know grill them out on the grill and stuff like that. So it's definitely possible to go through it pretty quickly. It depends how big your family is. Um, but it's a great, great offering. 
even if you're only snacking on it here and there. It makes a great sandwich. I used to always have this as a sandwich going to school. My mom would pack me a rig blown sandwich. And uh, I tell you what, I never got tired of it, especially because we have three different flavors. So you can always change it up. You can but, always change it up. Listen, I was just thinking I want to make eggs because they're quick and I'm going to slice these up because they're already cooked. I don't have to worry about it and you wouldn't have to worry about it either because they're cooked. All you have to do is choose which one you want. Do you want the garlic? Do you want the cheese or do you want the regular or do you want the combo? You get to decide and you can bring this Pennsylvania treat to your kitchen. $44.98, you're saving $4 when you shop with us today. The easy pay is $11.24. It's Stopus Meats. You win all day with them. Wow, Zach, thank you so much again. Like you made me drool. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, TJ. It's always a pleasure. Thanks, buddy. See you later.